Alrighty y'all, welcome back to the channel. So this is going to be another trap overview, this time of the Duke number two square jaw. This is not the dogless version, but I can't imagine really all the dimensions would be different. Things like jaw spread, frame thickness, all that. Specifically, this is the four coiled version. As you can see there, it's got those smaller helper springs on it, and it's also offset. So I wanted to show you guys, this is a pretty heavily built uh, trap, as you can see there. Just there's my hand for reference. The jaws look fairly thick. The frame is pretty good. It's also got a nice hefty base plate on there. Riveted on there. Center swiveled with a D-ring. These swivels, which are a lot thicker than the Duke swivels that come on the smaller traps, like the one and a half. It also has actual machine link chain rather than double loop chain, which people say is a lot more durable. However, I imagine if you use proper size double loop chain, a coyote's never going to break through it at all terminating in another swivel so there you can see pretty good chain setup i'd say and from the end of this swivel which is right there to the end of this you have 13 inches so we'll say that's the chain length and then we'll get to some more measurements on this thing so the offset is 0.24 i already measured it already so we'll say a quarter inch the thickness of the jaws here, 0.175, we'll go to these levers here, that is 0.069, it's like 0 0.068, 0 0.069 is I believe a 14 or 16 gauge steel, so I'm just going to round to 0 0.069, and then the next thing we'll get to is this cross frame. And for that, we have roughly 0.131, so a hair over an eighth of an inch. It could just be, you know, a coating they have on here, or oil or mill scale or something. could just be an eighth of an inch. All right, so now that we got that, we'll just look at the frame here. The frame, I'm getting, get on the more square portion of that, 155 or 0.155 obviously it's not an inch and a half thick 0.155 all right the dog here is 0.075 now we'll get to the pan which is 0.059 all right, so that's all the basic dimensions. We got the cross frame, the frame, the dog, pan, jaws, levers, all that. So now we'll get to some dimensions like a jaw, jaw spread, outside jaw spread, inside jaw spread, pan size. So I'm gonna set this real quick. All right, now that we got that set, we can see that the lame jaw isn't exactly sitting flat, but we'll fix that later. For the pan, I'm going to put my finger under it so it doesn't go down and snap on this. We have a width of about 1.82. We have a length of 2. Point, about 2.6. That's the pan size. Outer jaw will be we'll say about six inches. And that's, uh, of course, this jaw is popping up all the way, so I can't get a, the reading when the jaw is like this is not going to be the same as the reading when it's all the way down. We'll say like six inches because this thing's maxed out and it's just barely sliding over there. Say six inches on that inside jaw spread. Once again, the jaw isn't perfectly level, so this isn't going to be perfect. But we have five... 0.55 so basically five and a half inch inside jaw spread yep like I said 5.55 hinge to hinge let's go right to those hinges all right right to the sides of the frame which I'm Saying it's hinge to hinge, we got 5.6 inches. So 
that's a fairly decent trap if the inside jaw spread is five and a half inches because I believe the standard now of course you know obviously companies vary it's not you know a standardized thing uh, but generally number two traps are five and a half inch uh, overall jaw spread I believe this one's five and a half inch inside so it's slightly bigger and I believe on the Duke website could be wrong on this but I believe it was 5.875 or 5 and 7 eighths inch outside jaw spread I believe so this is slightly bigger than average but still pretty good a number two would be used for things like coyotes you could also use it for foxes that's primarily what you're going to use a number two for a canine trap so thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you did feel free to like subscribe check out some of my other videos God bless and see you on the next one